morning. My name is Michelle and I'm going to show you how to upload a manuscript onto the JMH Journal platform. As new authors, you would have created a profile. Just a tip, when you create your profile, please can you put as much detail onto your profile because this all gets pulled through when uh, you're uploading the metadata. But we'll get to that. Let's go and upload your manuscript. So before you upload, just make sure you have everything. Original manuscript, blinded copy, authorship document. And if it's an original research, you're going to need an ethical certificate. So you click on new submission. And now you start step one. Don't worry about 1.1. Go straight through to 1.2 and you go to the drop downs and you say I've got an original research article that I need to upload. Let me say that. And then up pops the guidelines. Just as a reminder, saying have you done your abstract correctly, your number of words. Now, as an added bonus, we're going to show you how much your article would cost the APC fees. But remember, this journal is partially sponsored. But we're going to pretend you have to, your university has to pay for the APC fees. You'll go down and you'll upload your original manuscript. And you'll say check. And it says right. Word count, it says awesome. Your manuscript is approximately so many words. You're well within. Nothing to worry about. Then we're going to tick each little box. Once you've read it, it's just all the conditions and it's a checklist saying, have you got this? Do you, are you aware of that? You go through each one and you click right down to copyright notice. If you want to leave a message um, for the editor, something you want to bring to his or her attention, you can write in this box. If not, you just leave it blank and we continue to the next step saying right upload submission you're going to upload your original manuscript once again and you're going to upload and you're going to continue to the next step right this is the metadata i was telling you about when you do your profile you must have all the details in here and then if you have more than it's, uh, it's not just one author you have two or three it, it says to you do you have co-authors you just click on yes i do there will be three of us all together and you record then you'll see it pops up and you're going to fill in your co-authors details please ensure you you have all the details because a lot of our authors get stuck here you must have the, the ORCID IDs, you, you must have their affiliations, you must have their full names, otherwise this stage, if you don't have all the details, it won't allow you to carry on. So you get everything ready, I'm just going to delete this and pretend sole author, and it's over there, and I'm just going to say this is a training training video training program and you get to put in you copy and paste your, your abstract in here and then you can go in and fill in each block um, if there's something that you're not sure of, you can, you can leave it blank. The only one they're going to want is the keywords. Minimum five. And you just put in your keywords. And you say thank you. All done. Move to next step. Now it's saying, wait, wait. It won't, it's telling you. Author one, an orchid is required. So I'm going to just go put in the training orchid. There we go. Continue to next step. 
So that is what the, the system will tell you. If there's anything missing, it'll stop you and it'll tell you. Now we add step four, upload supplementary files, and it tells you required files, authorship, ethical, other, the unblinded, or if you have tables or figures. So once again, we go there, choose our file, and I'm going to go look for my authorship document. I'm going to upload it. Just use the drop down and click on authorship document. Save and continue. And you'll see it's gone from red to green. Next, it wants an ethical certificate. So, right, I'm going to get my ethical certificate. My ethical certificate. Upload. Drop down. Ethical certificate. Save and continue. While we're at this, this step, um, for this journal, only the original manuscript requires an ethical certificate, but I want you to be very careful if you're doing review articles. Please look at the guidelines. It explains they, they want an ethical statement in uh, your, your manuscript for review articles. And be very careful if you've got participants, human, if you've got anything about animals, automatically the minute you have humans or animals in your review article or your original article, it'll call for an ethical certificate. If you don't supply an ethical certificate and somehow you manage to bypass the step, when AOSIS team members get it, it will be desk rejected and they will say to you, we need an ethical certificate. We cannot process. So I'd just like you just to go through the, the guidelines just to make sure when you're doing your article, do I need an ethical certificate or not? Original manuscript, automatic. You have to have an, a, an ethical review. It's up to you depending on the data. The others, no. So then the last one, it says, please upload your unblinded manuscript. Okay, my blinded manuscript and upload. Drop down, unblinded, save and continue. So all green and then it lists, it says to you, right, there's the authorship document, there's the ethical certificate, there's your blinded manuscript. You're happy with that? Continue to next step. Lists again showing you everything. And then the sustainable development goal for our medical journals. You, you can go through, depending on what your manuscript is, is about, um, it's, it's usually good health and well being. Let me say thank you. Right, that is your manuscript and your supplementary folders all loaded. You will automatically receive an email saying, thank you, your submission has been successfully uploaded. And then it disappears, and it's, but you will see it on your profile. Now what happens for AOSIS when you've uploaded it, we get alerted as well. And you'll see there is one, it says one unassigned. We, we click on it, whoever's looking after this particular journal, and they'll go in, because this is the first step, and they'll say, right, have you got all your documents? Yes, I do. Is the referencing style correct? Is the abstract correct? Everything correct? And then it gets passed, and you'll receive an email from us saying, we've got your manuscripts, there are no issues, it's moving on, it's going into desk review. And then we notify the editor that there's an article on the journal platform. <clears throat> Please can the editor confirm focus and scope. If the editor's happy, it will go then into round two. So it goes into review. And this is where we're going to blind your manuscript. And we're going to invite reviewers and we're going to do an authenticate. Um, the authenticate is, is just 
to make sure that um, there's no plagiarism uh, or so, sometimes first time authors are saying I'm going to use my thesis. Yes, you can use refer to your thesis and you can take information from your thesis. But please do not copy and paste in chunks because your article is an original research. It's, it's not a copy and paste of your thesis. The Authenticate score will pick up. It'll tell us automatically there's a thesis and we'll just see um, how much information you've taken from it. it. Has the article been published before? That, that kind of thing, but we will keep you updated and it'll all appear in there and it also just advises the, the editor. Most editors allow about 10% uh, similarities. So that's anything higher than that, they'll have a look and see what what's why is it higher. If you, for some re reason, um, submitted your article to a preprint server, the Authenticate will pick that up. OSIS allow it. There's no problem uh, with you submitting to a preprint before submitting uh, to AOSIS. So that, that's all good. And then, obviously, we invite reviewers who check the manuscript and then we'll make comments and, and come back to you. The whole time, we will be advising you via email saying, okay, it's with... Uh, reviewers, once it's returned, it's it's back. Please either do revisions, or if there's major changes, it'll be a resubmit. Um, if the article is exceptionally good, it could be acceptance in round one. It's entirely up to your article and your reviewers. And then once that process is over, it will be handed over to our production who will then do the publication of your article. Just as a guideline, the process can, in the review stage, depending on how many times it's backwards and forwards with reviewers, can take about 90 days, 60 to 90 days. And then on the publication side, it's about 90 days to 120. Because there, you do get an opportunity once again before it gets published to check your manuscript to make sure that everything on this manuscript, all the changes that were made, are accurate before it gets published. So there's, there's safety nets on each stage. As I've said, we've uploaded the manuscript and it shouldn't take you longer than five minutes. So please don't struggle. If, if you are struggling, just stop, give us a call, and we will help you. Because we don't want to take the fun or the excitement out by getting you frustrated because you can't upload your manuscript. We, we can shadow you. We can help you all the way. Thank you for watching the video, and we look forward to receiving your manuscript. Bye for now. Thank you.